Good morning, traders. My name is Christopher Vecchio, currency strategist with DailyFX. Today is Wednesday, January 28th, 2015. These are your FX headlines as we turn the page to North America. And after a fairly quiet European data session, we're all focused on the two central bank meetings this afternoon. The FOMC rate decision, of course, uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern, that's a 1900 GMT, as well as the one at 3 p.m. Eastern, or 20 GMT, the RBNZ rate decision. Ahead of these prints, we've seen some consolidation in several of the U.S. major crosses, as well as some interesting reactions to some of the data out of Asia last night. But before we begin, let's take a look at some of these uh, major U.S. dollar pairs. Uh, Euro dollar right now is trading up into the 113.56 area, but it's still continuing to respect the broader part of the downtrend that's been in place since the 17th of December. We've marked this off by the 8 EMA on the daily chart. Even though we're looking at a four hour time frame here, we have our moving averages anchored to the daily time frame. Uh, and we've had several tests here, the 29th of December, 14th January, 21st, 22nd of January as well, and including yesterday. Uh, the resistance is coming in right below the January 16th low, as well as at 8 EMA, between 114.16 and 114.58. As it stands right now, we're seeing that MACD is maintaining its broader downtrend, holding below the signal line, which is our key indicator for uh, this period in which price has been below the 8 EMA. So if we were to see MACD move above the signal line today and price close above the 8 EMA uh, on the back of this FOMC print, it could be a sign that this market is ready to put in a greater reversal. Uh, if we go over to pound dollar, pound dollar also looks like it's partially primed for a move higher here. The 21 EMA has been of consequence going back to the start of the year, uh, providing resistance on the 31st as well as yesterday. When we even scroll down to the 13, we can see why this was an important level. It kept price capped throughout mid-January and now, after treating it as resistance for a great part of the month, yesterday's pivot off of it proved to be support. So we may have a little bit of a mini flag forming within here uh, between the lows that we had right near 150.150 and as high as 152.20. That's something to watch going into this FOMC event. Of course, uh, the other day when we did see this come back into the range, when we have a false breakout, we typically uh, see a reversal to the other side of the range extreme, that would be as high as 152.75. And considering that the key moving average during the trend since July the 34 EMA would be coming up for a test, pretty much on target near the 152.75 region, imagine that's going to be a very significant level of resistance for pound dollar to try to get through. Uh, when we look at something like the Australian dollar, Aussie dollar had an interesting night as its headline rates of inflation fell below market consensus, but the uh, a trimmed mean, the core figures, if you will, that the RBA produces, uh, those were uh, a little bit in line or better than expected above uh, the rates expected by market participants. So we saw that the interest rate cut at expectations for next week uh, plunged from about 45% uh, down below 20% overnight. If anything, it's probably setting up the RBA for a March rate cut. Um, when we take a look at Kiwi dollar, Kiwi dollar itself is taking cues from the Aussie dollar perhaps. We saw the Aussie reverse at its 8 EMA. Well, Kiwi dollar has a little bit higher to run to that, but we most recently saw it as resistance on the 21st of January. And as it were right now, the expectations going into the Fed meeting are pretty high for one significant reason. Well, we've seen the market completely decouple from what the Fed's saying. Uh, the average FOMC dot plot forecast uh, for the interest rate at the end of 2015 is 0.75%. But when we take a look at the overnight index swaps or uh, the Fed Fund's future rate, we can see that this rate is calling for a hike for the first time uh, probably in November or December 2014. So what does this mean to us? Well, the market is totally different from what the Fed has told us what's going to happen, which means that someone has to correct. Either the market needs to raise its interest rate expectations, needs to say that the rate's going to be moving up sooner than expected, or the Fed needs to indicate that it's taking the bout of disinflation a little bit more seriously, and that could take some wind out of the dollar sales. Of course, we are just coming off of a five-year high uh, in, in U.S. Treasury short positioning, which is a tailwind for lower bond yields. We're coming off of an all-time high in U.S. dollar long positioning. So there's still some ammunition in the tank to get the dollar uh, on its back foot if the Fed paves the correct path. 
Either way, the next 24 hours should be exciting for markets. Uh, we should see some of these recent consolidation ranges uh, break out and pave the way for trends to continue or reverse going into next week. But this period of consolidation and meandering in the market, uh, at least in FX, could be coming to an end. Uh, that's it for me today. I'll be back later on with another video. Good luck trading today. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to reach out to me through the Daily FX Real Time News Feed or Twitter, CVEC FX, or via email, CVEC at dailyfx.com.